Hey fancy babies. Yes, I'm currently at my parents' house. And if you guys didn't see my last vlog, Paul and Lily. Is Lily okay? It's because I'm moving. Why I'm moving story time starts at five minutes and 39 seconds. And my apartment right now looks like it's in shambles. Like I'll insert some clips here of some boxes and what it's like. It's a wreck. So this video is like a haul, a giveaway, and a story time all in one. So I was lucky enough to be gifted items from Poshmark. I have no idea what they are. They promised me they're all authentic designer items and I am to choose my favorite out of these four items. I think they're four items. There could be like multiple in one, but I have to choose my favorite and then the others that I'm not keeping I post on my Poshmark. Follow my closet so that you can be alerted when these items are posted. If you like or heart the item that you want that I'm going to be posting, you'll be notified when the item drops to zero dollars, but you have to like or heart the item in order to be notified of that. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it's an app where you could sell and buy clothes. My shop is called Fancy Ella. You guys should totally follow me. I'm going to show you guys the items that I'm going to be listing. So yeah, that's how it's kind of like a giveaway because you guys can just go to my shop and buy the gifts that I'm not keeping. Poshmark is free and you could sell clothes, handbags, shoes, you could sell them too. Me personally, it's the easiest way to buy and sell items. When it comes to luxury items, you guys know I have a lot of like designer bags and stuff and I buy a lot of them from Poshmark because it's 100% trustworthy. The designer items, anything $500 or more, are sent to Poshmark headquarters to verify that they're authentic. They have a team of luxury experts that go through the bags and look at like the markings, the materials, the logo goes to make sure it's authentic and real. All luxury items are under Posh Protect, which means you'll get a full refund if what you receive isn't what you expected online. So without further ado, I want to open these and find out what goodies I just got. I am so excited! This is like Christmas on Fancy Vlogs in August. Oh my gosh, this is Ted Baker, the rose gold bow, yes. Ah! I want to keep these. If all of them are going to be matching my aesthetic like this, this is going to be so hard. So the first item I got is this Ted Baker clutch. This is so cute for events and it says wow because it's a wow bag. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> this is really fun. Oh my God, this is a YSL bag. I see the, the bag underneath. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's so cute. The only thing I will say about this item is like, usually when I have a really like high-end luxury brand bag, I like the markings to be more obvious. That sounds so pretentious, but like, that's just like my style. So this is probably what I'm gonna be giving away on my Poshmark account. It looks like this, it's shiny, it's red, and it's so clean. These things are so clean, it looks like I just bought them from the store. What is this? It's heavy. I already have this. It's over there. I can go get it to show you guys what it looks like so you know what you're going to be buying. This is obviously going to go on my shop too. It's the Coco, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Chanel perfume. That's what it looks like. So this is my perfume. I'm actually going to spray myself with it right now because it smells that divine. This is making me miss Christmas so much. How cute this is. I'm going to take a picture for my Instagram right now and then I'm going to continue filming. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. It looks like this room, but like even more, it's like extra as hell. It's just four letters, J-B-I, I expect you to follow me. Oh my God. Oh, this is a pretty Ted Baker dress. It's so Audrey Hepburn. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? It's like pink and white stripes. It's totally brand new. It's definitely between the bag and the dress. 
Honestly, I have so much clothes. I'm gonna have to go with the bag, especially since I'm moving into a house. Like, I'm literally moving into a house in two or three weeks, and I have this huge closet I need to fill with like bags. The items that I'm gonna be listing are this Ted Baker dress. The next item I'm gonna be listing is this YSL clutch, as you guys saw. It's shiny, it's clean, it's huge. I'm leaving the packing in here so that it's like nice and stuffed. And then the Coco Chanel perfume, it looks like this. Whoever gets this dress, please take a lot of photo shoots in it because it deserves that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that like haul slash giveaway. I'm gonna be keeping this, this is my baby. This is like the most wow purse I've ever seen in my life. So now that the fun part's out of the way, I do owe you guys this mini story time on why I'm moving out. I mean, you guys saw in my last vlog that there was a fire in the apartment diagonal for mine. There's a fire. on my floor and it was very scarring and I don't want to go through anything like that again I don't want to put like all the hard-earned items that I own in the hands of people I don't even know you're just sharing an entire building with so many other people in this case like I was stuck in an apartment building with a very young staff and very young tenants and I felt like I was kind of in a situation completely opposite from my old apartment. If you guys watch my story time from last year when I moved out of my old apartment, you'll know that it's the complete opposite problem. It was a bunch of older people and families and I was really young and I was being judged and discriminated for my age. So when I moved to my next apartment, I made sure that it was a building that was run by young people, that was okay with me being young, that wasn't gonna judge me, that understands even though I'm 23, mentally I'm like 10 years ahead. I'm like a 33 year old woman trapped in a 23 year old body and they understood that and they were very nice about it and the staff was so friendly at first and they still are, it's just, you, you'll hear what happened, you'll, you'll hear, you'll, you'll get it. So for this mini story time, I am gonna use my breaking lease proposal as like the means to like this story time because it really summarized everything so well and I don't think I could ever summarize why I'm moving out so well ever again. Like I feel like I'll just be ranting and ranting for 20 minutes when I laid it down on the table in like a good few paragraphs. Um, yeah, if you want to sit and watch and listen to why I'm moving out, this is why. For the first one to three months of moving, I put in many maintenance requests for a fecal stench coming from all the toilets, mainly in the double sink master bathroom. Was advised to flush bleach down the drain here and there, and this did not resolve the issue. Was advised by a self-hired maintenance man that there was no solution to the situation because of the way the building was built. We are smelling other tenants' feces and the smell is rising, backing up to the floor, unresolved. So from last year till now, my entire apartment smelled really bad by like the wing where like my vintage closet bathroom and bedroom is. Um, that's like a completely like separate wing in the penthouse. And we were the first people to move into that building or at least one of the first. Never be like the first people to move somewhere because you're gonna be the guinea pig and you're gonna be the one dealing with all the issues in the building. Well, they completely like internally built this building so wrong. Aesthetically, it was beautiful, but they spent like no time figuring out the internal problems with the building, like the piping, the sewage, and all that stuff, and the electricity, and the AC. They spent like no time on it. As soon as I was looking for apartments, I remember seeing these apartments, I was like, oh, these are for rent? So yeah, there was a fecal stench problem in my apartment this entire year, and the reason you guys don't know about this is because you can't smell through the damn camera, but let me tell you, whenever I'd have friends over, no one would go near like my bedroom, laundry area, bathroom slash vintage closet area because the toilet smelled like poop, like dead ass poop. And we never use that bathroom because it smelled. So it was obviously other tenants. And based off of what the handyman said, the way the building was built, they didn't build it correctly. It was a really tall building. You guys saw in like the fire video, like all the steps that I had to go down when there's a fire in our building. So we're all the way on like one of the last floors and all of the like, fecal stench is rising through all the piping. Our apartment smelling all the other apartments down there. Next thing, the first week of moving in, October 17th, drawers began breaking and wood started to detach in lower kitchen. Maintenance request was applied and there was a temporary fix 
These broke again along with an entire drawer and vinyl from the floor separated into many cracks around the apartment floor, mainly in kitchen living area and surrounding bedroom is hidden hallway. Further, all toilets began moving around and detaching. Bottom of the front door is detaching as well. Apartment was very well taken care of and these problems still arise. I've spent more of my year in LA. This apartment was the least lived in of the two apartments I have and is falling apart as if we were here longer. Gave up on calling for maintenance requests because too many issues would arise and getting a hold of maintenance is a strenuous task, not easy. Yeah, so I just inserted a bunch of clips to like show you guys that this apartment, like the pictures I showed you are from like the first week of moving in. I'm assuming these apartments were like rushed and built because I didn't remember these being on the market anytime the year before when I was looking for apartments and a building this big like being put on the market in like less than a few months. They didn't spend much time on it. And getting a hold of maintenance is probably like the hardest thing ever. Getting a hold of anyone from the front desk or maintenance is really hard. The last apartment, you guys know, like they cared too much. In this apartment, they didn't care enough. It was really, really hard to get a hold of maintenance and I'll get into that. Dishwasher is not working and never has. Multiple maintenance requests for this that weren't responded to. I hand washed all my dishes since last October. One of the main reasons I'm excited to move is I'm so excited for for a dishwasher, a working dishwasher. I have multiple call logs I can provide while being ignored by maintenance. I printed them out. Upon moving in, nobody notified me about this app. I was provided with no login info or anything. Consequently, I would call, let's call him Eric. I would call Eric, who's one of like the property managers, on the regular and the old maintenance guy from the first month of living there who was then laid off would answer all the time. But being ignored by Eric became very regular. Further, I would dial the extension for maintenance and left on the line for 40 plus minutes waiting for someone to pick up. Ultimately, I would hang up and deal with the problems arising in the apartment. At the end of the day, I couldn't get a hold of maintenance ever, so I decided just to live dealing with it. That's it. Like, I would just try to, like, make shift and make it look okay for filming, and then when the cameras are off, like, just let it look like crap, honestly. As if dealing with fecal stench and broken appliances all year wasn't enough, the largest problem of them all, broken AC all summer. And I live in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, we have the coldest winters and like the hottest summers. So it was like 100 degrees all summer. I had to pack a suitcase and live at my parents, friends' residences, and occasionally vacate for no reason to get away from the problem. I have to work every day from home and could no longer do so. So yeah, I spent so much money, as you guys see on like my Snapchats and stuff, on like hotels and Airbnbs because I just like never wanted to be home this summer. You guys see on my vlog channel, I was always like randomly at like the Hamptons or like Seaside or like at friends' houses. I called maintenance 15 plus times and had people working on my apartment for months until they could find a temporary, unflattery, half-assed solution. The portable AC units with the funneling. Although this was very helpful in terms of my health and being comfortable, it still didn't help my case with filming in my home because they are very noisy. I have like a portable AC unit, so like the sound's really off right now and appear unflattering with the size of them and the funneling. Look at that lovely portable AC unit that my apartment gave me because the AC has not been working all summer. Guys, I paid so much money for this penthouse and I understand like they did help and bring in portable AC units, but you guys don't know the behind the scenes. In order to vlog, I had to turn off all the portable AC units in the apartment and it got really hot in there and as you can see in some footage, I'm like sweating and in fancy vlogs, I can't sweat. <laughs> it defeats the whole purpose of a fancy vlog if you see like funneling in the back corner with this loud like sleep machine sound. So anytime I talk in vlogs right now, it's gonna sound like psycho, so I'm really sorry about that. They're called fancy vlogs for a reason. I had gone to Los Angeles to work after these were installed and then to Paris, and when I returned, the apartment felt as if these were never installed the night that I got back from Paris. It was so bad. I was so stressed out, guys. I packed a bag and went to my parents' house until I could get a hold of someone. I reached out to neighbors who explained they had the same issues of communication and getting in contact with maintenance. The reason these machines stop working is because sponge slash foam was sloppily placed lazily and fell out of the window so the machines were recirculating the hot air outside of our apartment and the apartment was consequently 98 degrees even hotter than before and this was documented. So thank God this was recorded in my little like nest system. I tried to get in touch with maintenance for this issue and yet again couldn't reach a soul. Could not reach anyone, guys. So my friends and I tried to makeshift cardboard blockers from window to ledge to block the heat. 
Pictures will be provided as well. Insert pictures here. If you're going down to the office, confronting the workers hysterically, guys, usually the workers aren't in the office. Every time I'd go down in the office, no one would be in there, even during work hours. The maintenance man that happened to be in the office told me that the property managers were out for a walk. They were just like out for a walk. Like, people, do your job. Like, there's office hours. Just people with like no AC. It wasn't just me. Anyone in the apartments, like, on like the last few floors had no AC because the building and the mechanics were like off by a shit ton. The AC system, I guess, was working, but because of how tall the building was and like the way that the building was built, the AC could not travel that high up to my floor. After going down to the office, confronting the workers hysterically, they finally sent someone to take care of this issue two days later, and let me tell you, is not cute. Silver duct tape and foil wrapped all over several windows in my apartment, and in very, very important rooms Jesus. I film it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> They have red writing all over them and look like Christmas wrapping paper. Even though this fixed the problem, I gave up filming in my home. Since then, I have made sure I can film at my parents' house, which is why I'm here, which is why my skincare video was filmed here. My last vlog, I just made sure I stayed in my closet because my closet was the only room like looks normal. Like I don't show really my family room. I don't really show my room that much anymore. I don't show anywhere really but my closet and this room, so. In March, I returned home from a business trip in New York and my carpets were flooded with water. This is the master bedroom slash bathroom that I've converted into the production room slash closet. With my camera footage, I was able to see the maintenance let themselves in, looked at the wet floor, stepped in it, looked at the walls, and then left. The maintenance people let themselves in, looked around, and left. Didn't do anything about it. So when I came home from New York, I came home to drenched dewy, gross carpets, and it smelled so bad. It smelled like wet dog mixed with like throw up. It was left with no solution. I came home to a very foul mold smell in that room. The piping in this building is all over the place. There was a huge torrential waterfall on the first floor when a pipe broke in the dead of winter, and last month, a very bad leak in our hallway on the floor. I was ultimately going to wait until my lease was up in October to move because I decided I don't want to spend another summer in these conditions because that truly was the worst part of this all. But my final straw was this week when a bunch of careless, loud young girls moved into, and then I put the apartment number. Not even a week of them being across from me, they had left a pot of oil on the stove unattended with stove on high and caused a fire across from me. I have worked so hard for all these things and they could be gone in the snap of a finger because of some careless kids across the hall. All I know, a pipe could break in my unit and destroy everything, all I've worked for. With the abundance of young careless kids in this building, it could lead to another hazardous situation like that fire or maybe even an electrical one. I can't even put myself in this environment anymore and I'm trying to remove myself as quick as possible to save myself, my business, and my things that I have worked too hard for. Last but not least, a very strong smell of mold in the single bathroom. I have like a guest bathroom in like the hallway near the front door. It smells of mold and this might have to do with the leak in the hallway of my floor. So yeah, I'm dealing with a lot right now. I am really stressed out. Like I know I seem happy and bubbly all the time guys, but I am emotionally like, exhausted. I know I post once every three days, but if there's like maybe five days till my next vlog, please bear with me because I'm really freaking stressed out right now. Say some prayers for me, please. I love you so much and stay tuned for moving vlogs and a really, really extra glamorous closet in this house. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog. Mwah!